Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Continuing my series on living hope, the living hope that we have through faith in Jesus Christ. I was reading today a scripture that is encouraging to me, and I hope that it will be to you. It's Psalm 103, verse 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. One way that you can be encouraged and be reminded you have reason to have hope is the fact that although every one of us, you and I included, um, were born with a sin nature and we've all committed sin against God, it's a wonderful truth that if you have, you've put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, He has forgiven you of all your sin. That's what it means when it says, as far as the east from the west. You know, east and west never do meet. <laughs> and when God has forgiven us of all our sin and he has separated or removed our sin from us, this means that when God looks at you as a believer in Jesus Christ, he doesn't see your sin anymore. He just sees you and who you are becoming through faith in Jesus Christ. I think that if you know and you will accept beyond a shadow of a doubt that God has totally forgiven you, there's no need for you to go around with the burden of guilt in your life anymore. You can look up to God and you can have hope that he's going to keep you against that day when you meet him, someday face to face. And you know, God offers you complete and total forgiveness. No matter what you've done, no matter who you are, if you put your faith and trust in him, I assure you, according to the Bible, God will remove all your sin from you and he'll remember your sin no more. The Bible says it this way, For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin, so that we might be made right with God through Christ. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. God made Christ who never sinned to be the offering for our sin. God didn't just forgive you. His son took the punishment for your sin and satisfied God's justice so that you and I can be forgiven if we believe that Jesus Christ took our punishment, died for us, and was buried and rose again. You don't ever have to wonder if you've been forgiven. You don't have to carry around a burden of guilt in your life. If past memories return to your mind and you start thinking about them, you know what you need to do? Go to God and say, God, thank you. Thank you for forgiving me of my sin so that I don't have to carry it around anymore. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9 says it this way. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and he is just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Isn't that a wonderful, wonderful hope and encouragement? We can be forgiven of all unrighteousness. I hope that encourages you today, and I hope that helps to restore or encourage you in your hope so that you can live with faith. I love you, and God loves you. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.